guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Karina Jewel. If you're new here, if you aren't new here, still Karina Jewel. Today's video, I did a full face of makeup, this makeup right here, using only e.l.f. brushes and an e.l.f. sponge. So check this video out. Continue watching if you want to watch me put some e.l.f. brushes and to create this beautiful look if I do say so myself. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like it at the end. Subscribe if you want to see me do more things. I'm going to get better at uploading more regularly. Just you watch. So uh, thank you guys for hanging out. Or thank you for hopefully hanging out. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. Here's, here's Naked Face Karina. Alright guys, let's get into the face. The first thing that I picked up from e.l.f. is this e.l.f. You can't see it. There you go. This e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm. And it says, let's see, directions, apply to face in a circular motion prior to makeup application. Blend if necessary, follow with your favorite e.l.f. foundation. I don't have a favorite e.l.f. foundation, but um, yeah. So it says that it's going to, this clear cooling balm helps hydrate and prep the skin for makeup application, enriched with purified water, shea and vitamin E to help nourish and moisturize. Great for daily use, it can be used on your face, hands, elbows, and knees. Don't know about that last part, but let's try it on the face. So this is going to act as my primer, I believe, and I just... feels nice. I don't necessarily know if it's like changing my world, you know. My face is tacky. I don't know. This is interesting. We'll see how the foundation goes on with this on and see if it actually does anything magical. So the two things that I grabbed as far as foundation goes is I grabbed a, this is the small stipple brush by e.l.f. and then I also grabbed the blend, is this, I also grabbed the blending sponge. I like to go in with the stipple brush, apply the foundation, and then smooth it out with the sponge. So let's try these bad boys out. All right, I just turned down the brightness with of my ring light, so hopefully you can see me better. But I went and got this wet, and it like tripled in size, so we'd love that. So let's go in with some foundation. I have foundation on my brush. It's very soft. Well, as far as these go, this is, it's a good stipple brush. I mean, it's small. The one I usually use is a bit larger. Yeah, the one I usually use is a bit larger in comparison, so you have to like stretch a bit more with this one, but it's not bad by any means. I'm sure they have a larger one. Um, I'd say it's good. And as far as the sponge go, I think it's really good. I don't know if it'll replace my Real Technique sponge, but for the price, I believe this was only like $6, maybe $5. You can't beat that. That's such an, uh, an affordable price. 
and with all those other elf products, you know. Yeah, I think it's nice. No pro, no cons here. I like these. All right, next I'll be taking my concealer. Let's see how the sponge blends some concealer out. I'll have all the products listed down below that I'm putting on my face just because I want the stars of this to be the e.l.f. brushes because they are so incredibly affordable such a good deal for what you get and then taking my e.l.f. sponge again and just blending everything everything looks nicely blended so the next step, this is something I usually do and I do actually usually use this brush in my routine. I take a e.l.f. blush brush and I take a bit of my setting loose powder and pick it up. And I like this brush. I like this brush because it forms under the eye really nicely. It gets under there and sets everything perfectly. Like the way it shapes to the eye is really nice. Then I just set all the areas that need to be set around my mouth, where my laugh lines are, where I put concealer down. I'm really excited about this next part. I picked up the e.l.f. Wow Brow in the shade Deep Brown. They came out with these brow gels now, and I'm very interested to try them. I've heard they're pretty good. I've lately just been doing soap brows and not even filling in my eyebrows because I have all the eyebrows in the world. So since this is a brow gel, I thought I would try it out. It's so cute and small. Now taking the Wow Brow in Deep Brown. Oh, I wish you guys would be able to see this. So my camera won't pick it up at all. I wish you guys would be able to see this, but the little spoolie end of it has a lot of like fibers. I bet that's to build up the uh, eyebrow. I don't know if I necessarily need that considering I have all the eyebrows in the world, but uh, let's give this a go. I don't think you guys will necessarily be able to tell, but there's like a small amount of color in this, like a small amount of pigment, but it works perfectly for my deep. If your eyebrows are pretty much black, this is a good brow gel for that, and I think, I think I like it. I think I would use this again. All right, I'm gonna go do the other eyebrow real quick. I am shocked. This is pretty cool, I would check it out. Let me just say, wow brow, indeed. Wow. Wow brow, indeed. For my uh, bronzer, my contour, I'm going to be taking this uh, angled blush brush from e.l.f. This is one of my favorites. I love the way it contours to the cheek, and for the price, you can't beat it. For blush, I'm going to take this all over, this e.l.f. all over complexion brush, it's just a larger brush. And then I'm going to take the e.l.f. Total Face Palette, it is one of my favorite affordable palettes, and just take the blush shades in there. I like using this palette when I want like a bit of a lighter wash of blush. I feel like the tones in here look just look really sweet and nice on the cheeks like kind of like a uh, inner inner blushing situation yeah because some blushes are too pigmented when you put them on I like that this one is more lightly pigmented so you can go back and build up the color where you want to if you want to because 
I like to go in and build it up versus throwing it on and automatically looking like a clown. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so for eyeshadow, I already had these brushes. This is the Black Elf Crease Brush. This is the Black Elf Eye Pencil Brush. This is one of their old ones. This is very old. It's just like a little, kind of more solid head. A little bit more dense. And then this is a eye crease brush. There's like different tiers with e.l.f. Like you have the white brushes, which are generally like two, three dollars, one dollar. These are probably a dollar. Then you have these ones, which are probably more three to five dollars, the black brushes. And then now they have these. I don't have any of them. Um, they have the like clear brushes that are around more ten dollars. So they have different tiers of brushes. But I grabbed a few. I grabbed another crease brush from the Black Range. I grabbed a concealer brush, which is just like a flathead brush. And then I picked up two more. So I picked up one more of these brushes just because I love this brush. And then I picked up one that is a bit more fluffy, but it's still the same size as this one, just fluffier. And then I picked up like a small concealer brush, just like a small little head. So let's do some eyeshadow using these so you can see how well they work, because they work incredibly. Before I get into the eyeshadow, I just wanted to mention this. is one of the reasons that e.l.f. is such an incredible brand to promote and, you know, they're so affordable. They're, and their brushes and their products are so great, but they're also cruelty-free and vegan. So for all the um, for all the brands that have not made the switch to cruelty-free vegan, Cruelty free and vegan. I have a few that I'm continuing using because I own them already and I'm trying to use them up until they I don't need to repurchase it. But Elf is such an affordable brand, such great products, and they are cruelty free and vegan. So I think that brands like this that do it affordably, they're in the drugstore, that it just it should promote other brands to make the switch as well because if Elf can do it, you can do it. Alright, so since we are doing our eyes with a drugstore brand, you know, e.l.f. is a drugstore brand and you're going to go pick up all these eyeshadow brushes, I might as well use a palette that you could pick up from the drugstore as well while you're there. I got this at CVS, you can get it at Target. This is the Rimmel London Magnify Eyes Jewel Rocks Edition palette. This is a really fun palette to work with. It's really cute. And I thought I'd show you a look with this so you can maybe get it while you're getting your brushes. So the first shade I'm going to take is this like the pinky shade. You can't really tell in this. Nope. You can't really tell in this, but it's more, it's like a, like a mauve pink. And I'm actually, I'm going to take it on this e.l.f. blending brush. My eyes are already prepped with concealer and uh, powder. Right, I zoomed you guys in. So I have some eyeshadow on the brush and I'm just gonna begin. From a different palette you can grab at the drugstore, this is the Belle Jordan Collab with Obsession palette. You can get this at, I think, all Targets now. I'm going to pick up, there's no, I'm going to take up this like brown shade just to deepen out the outer corner of this look. Give it some depth.
It's really hard to see with these eyelashes in the way, but I think that did what I needed it to do. Now I'm going to take this shade, which is the like pretty foily shade, and begin buffing that on the outer and then working it towards the inner because I want to put one of the golden shades on the inner corner, but I want this to be predominantly on the rest of the eye. And then on the inner portion of the eye, I'm going to take this like bronzy, you can't really tell, yeah. I'm going to take this bronzy gold color and place it on the inner portion using the concealer brush. And then picking up some more of the metallic pink shade. I'm just gonna go over with it to meet on the eye. Just so that's like a seamless blend between the two. For under the eye, I'm gonna take this small little d dense domey brush and I'm going to I'm going to pick up this shade right here and then just buff that under the eye but keep it closed, not not blend and not blending it out too much. So as far as eyeshadow goes, I think that this will do. I think the look is very cute, very affordable too. So I'm going to pop off and do this eye, probably come back on with some eyelashes, and then we'll do lips and highlight. Alright guys, I finished up the other eye. I tried to put an eyelash on. I have eyelash extensions or like the last bits of eyelash extensions right now, so... Eyelashes are not, strip eyelashes aren't really working out yet. My eyelashes still look nice enough to go bare. Yeah, so I really like the way the eye looked. I love e.l.f. brushes. They can truly do no wrong, so that's my, that's my opinion on that. But one of my favorite e.l.f. products is this e.l.f. highlight. It's the white gold, molten gold highlight. It's incredible. I've used it time and time again. It's always in my favorites videos if you've seen any of my videos before. So yes, I'm just going to put this on. I'm using another, a different e.l.f. blush brush. I don't really have a nice um, e.l.f. highlight brush right now. So And this is my finished look using all e.l.f. brushes, all e.l.f. products. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you use any of these brushes on the regular. I love e.l.f. brushes. I think they're incredible for the price, for cruelty-free. It's amazing. You really can't beat it. And they have such a wide selection and varying like shapes and sizes and stuff. I would surely suggest checking them out if you haven't already. But thank you guys for hanging out with me. Let me know how the audio is on this. 
I know I just scooted back, but I just got a mic and I'm not too sure how it's going to pick up on everything. So let me know how the sound quality is down below and let me know what you'd like to see from me in the future. Until next time, guys, don't forget to be nice to each other. Be nice people. Have a good day.